James visited Patria in Finnish Lapland who demonstrated their Patria 6x6 wheeled armoured vehicle. The Patria 6x6 was unveiled at Eurocitori 2018 in Paris and had then completed initial trials. According to Patria, the vehicle has a maximum combat weight of 24 tons and provides Stanag level 2 protection in the base configuration, although this can be increased to level 4 if required. The vehicle can be equipped with a variety of weapon systems and the rear compartment can be fitted for a variety of configurations depending on the requirement, including for the command post, reconnaissance, casualty evacuation or engineering role. We're here in Finnish Lapland with uh, Janne Rakelainen, Vice President of uh, Patria Land Systems. We've been uh, looking at the Patria 6x6 today. It was introduced at uh, Eurocitori 2018 when it had just completed initial trials. Uh, could you describe how the development and testing ha of it has gone since then? Well, we have been, uh, let's say, executed several testing already before uh, launch at Eurocitori and then continued according our testing plan. Uh, and like uh, this week, we have been uh, doing uh, some driving tests here in Lapland, having some fun, like today here at, at the test track. But as well, uh, for example, in this week we did some uh, tire testing. Uh, overall, the testing has included, let's say, all the main features and uh, the vehicle we have today here, for example, is included with various testing systems. Uh, it's wired all the way uh, to get uh, enough data to further verify all the design solutions and features. So, uh, when do you envisage the development of this vehicle to be completed and for it to be ready for production? Well, uh, the base vehicle design started uh, already in 2016. However, it needs to be remembered that we didn't start from the empty board or from the white paper. Basically, we have the decades know-how and engineering experience from the armored vehicle, so we have a lot of base information, the base solutions ready, and now it's been converted into the new 6x6 vehicle, and we have been tested that heavily in various conditions, like uh, here in Lapland this week, uh, where we have uh, done different driving tests in the snow conditions and as well tire testing. And uh, which modularities will you be looking to test? The whole vehicle concept is based on the modularity, like the AMV. And already, let's say, on the design phase, uh, several key features like amphibious capability has been taken into consideration and that will be further tested and verified uh, during the test period uh, on, on next year. And uh, so this, this vehicle builds on uh, previous products you've put out. Does it share um, a lot of commonality with uh, previous Patria vehicles? Of course it uh, shares a commonality, especially from the know-how point of view. We what experience what we have, but then on the practical level as well, uh, from the Patria 8x8 vehicle, uh, we have a lot of uh, parts even the same similarity, but then the design solutions uh, just model it more true on the uh, 6x6 and uh, the troop transport version of, of the armored carrier, which is the base design and target of this vehicle type. And um, which markets will you be looking to export this vehicle to? Uh, well, the vehicle is targeted for the markets where it's used uh, uh, in high numbers. Uh, the infantry carrier vehicles in, in armed forces and in armed configuration. So basically if you look today, uh, the land forces are still basing the operational concept uh, strongly by the use of infantry. This must be transported safely in even harsh off-road conditions. So all the areas where it's needed the uh, high mobility armored through transport capability. It's a vehicle for those users and those countries. Thank you for speaking to us today and for showing us Patria 6 times today. Thank you. Thank you.